What if we took black and made it green? Shipping may be the most environmentally friendly way to move goods around the world, but according to the IMO, maritime transport emits around 940 million tonnes of CO2 annually. And that's 940 million reasons to do better, right there. What if we could power all our vessels with clean alternative fuels? Many ship owners already build and retrofit for this purpose, but the shipping industry has yet to reach a consensus on which fuels will power the zero emission era. What if we could agree on the fuel mix to replace HFO? Even if such an agreement was made, how would we make clean alternative fuels available? Shore-based stations might work, but existing port facilities are already overcrowded. And because today's alternative fuels can't compete with HFO for mileage, green ships would have to deviate off course repeatedly to refuel, resulting in port congestion only getting worse. What if we could distribute the fuels out there instead, at sea, near busy shipping lanes? What if some sort of energy-providing vessel could rendezvous with ships mid-travel? Better yet, what if a fleet of these vessels could refuel ships while in transit? Ship-to-ship -ship bunkering, zero docking, zero waiting. What if we could do this again and again, creating a distribution network like a string of pearls along established shipping lanes, allowing ships to travel long distances without having to deviate off course to refuel. Not even once. How cool would that be? And what if we not only distribute the fuels offshore, but also store them offshore? Create a series of central hubs that would function as both distribution points and storage facilities. The sea provides the pressure and temperatures needed to achieve this. What if these central hubs actually produced clean alternative fuels? The oceans cover 71% of the Earth's surface and provides us with the largest reservoir of natural energy on our planet. Why not harness wind, solar or wave energy to power the production of clean fuels at sea? We're talking 71% of unlocked potential here. Achieving zero emission shipping is not going to be easy. But the fact is that most of the technology required to produce, store and distribute clean fuels is already here. And the industry agrees that it must act to reduce emissions. We have the will and the technology, the same goals, only different strategies. So instead of working alone, what if we all work together? We are proud to announce SEEDS, a coalition of companies specialising in energy, engineering and new business models that has been quietly working together to find the fastest route to zero emission shipping. But we can't do this alone. We need the support of other industry stakeholders to help us develop enabling technologies. We need ship owners and cargo owners to help us develop a viable business case. And most of all, we need governments and regulators to develop policies and incentives to encourage a shift towards clean energy. It's right there, right in front of us, the horizon. What if we, together, plant the seeds for the future.